guys long time no see i'm so happy to be back it's been a while since i've made a video but i'm really excited to come back with a bang with a painting that i'm really proud of and to talk to you about the process for this and what's been going on with me before we begin i wanted to say thank you so much to the sponsor of this video which is my very very favorite skillshare Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes with topics ranging from art to business to making coffee and more. As a creative, the importance of learning new skills and keeping your memory fresh is vital and Skillshare has so many resources to stay inspired and continue learning. Even in this painting, I tackled gouache, which I'm not very good at. It's really important to try new things as a creative. Industry professionals teach in-depth classes where students can interact and submit their class projects. It's a place where even our own creators on YouTube go to teach and if you're interested in a class that I've really been enjoying, I recommend mastering illustration, sketching, inking, and color essentials by Jazza. It'll be linked down in the description. He's so great and I'm so happy that he has a Skillshare class. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And after that, membership is less than $10 a month. So thank you so much to Skillshare for being such a long-time patron of my channel, helping me put out videos for you guys and like working hard. A little bit about where I've been. I've been working on school. This is my second to last semester as a senior in college. And I've also been working on my home renovation. And I finally finished my office space, art space, whatever you want to call it. I filmed that and I'm going to be uploading it pretty soon once I finish all the finishing touches. But I've been finding it really hard to stay inspired to draw when I have so many projects, assignments, and work to work on. Um, I just haven't really been feeling inspired. So finishing my art studio space and making it pretty decluttered has really helped me be inspired. So here I am working on something right after I set my place in order and have decided I have a designated art space where I come to sit and work. It's just been really inspiring and I'm really happy and grateful to have this space that I can have designated for art. I want to start working on larger pieces with more elements and intricacy. I put pressure on myself to create quick content so that I can post frequently on YouTube or on Instagram or that I can make artwork for Patreon and it's something that is really hard for me as a creative. I don't feel like I'm learning as much as I should be and as I said before, <laughs> learning is super important as a creative. It's really hard to be stuck in the same rut of drawing the same thing over and over, not trying new techniques or media, and, you know, not really branching out, not improving yourself. So I, for this piece, wanted to work on something larger with more elements and intricate details, and also to use gouache, a medium that I'm not very comfortable with made only a couple paintings with it before and never something of this much detail and this size so this was a huge project for me To begin with, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. I was very inspired by Jimena's new video where she paints Draco. I saw that and I've painted Draco before in 2018, but I saw it. It's spooky season. I wanted to paint something else from Harry Potter and I love Luna's aesthetic so much. So I wanted to draw her. So just saying, down in the description, I will have Jimena's video linked. Go follow her account, she's just beautiful and the sweetest person. 
I was also insanely inspired for this piece by Ruth Spear, aka September Wildflowers. She makes the sweetest and most elaborate paintings, and I really wanted to channel that same energy. Ruth's channel is going to also be linked below. She's probably the most high quality painting channel you'll find on YouTube. She is the kindest human. She has the most beautiful, incredible artwork, so I definitely recommend checking her out. or arts gouache paints for this video you guys really wanted to see a gouache painting for me so i thought i would work on something with a lot of detail challenge myself in that aspect and to begin with this painting looked like hot garbage i really don't know how i made it through that beginning stage of her face it looked awful i sat there and i was like what the heck am i doing what <laughs> so confusing but i persevered and i really love the way that this painting came out i love the face of it so something that i learned with gouache is it's just a trial by error and finding out how colors darken when they dry and how to mix everything place them on the paper it's just a completely different medium than acrylic or watercolor or oil paints so just something to get used to if you're interested in this painting, it will be up in my shop. I don't currently have any other products up there. I'm working on shop updates, so that's how I'm going to proceed with my shop from now on. But if you want to pick up this painting, it'll be up in my shop. It took me eight hours to make, and let me tell you, my back really hurts right now. <laughs> it took a long time. Rachel Maxi kept me alive and entertained through this whole process, so shout out to her. Also will be linked down in the description, a very binge-worthy channel. If you're looking for some fun vintage sewing retro cosplay costume stuff oh my gosh she's been so entertaining i will have a more in-depth review of these squash paints in the future let me know if there's anything specific you would like me to talk about but for now i will say that the packaging is so cute they are fun to use love the jelly cups and the color selection is a lot cooler and more pastel than what i'm looking for and working towards in my art so I had large difficulty with that and if I will talk about the final outcome of this piece, I think it's beautiful. I love the final painting. However, I do wish that I could have had a more like renaissance, warm approach with the colors and they're just very cool tone, very blue, very purple and something that I'm trying to work away from in my art. I tend to use a lot of blues and purples in my art and I really want to get into more warm tones and having my paintings look a little bit more classical in their themes so something that i personally wasn't the biggest fan of however it is definitely also my color mixing and just um not being very purposeful with the colors that i was mixing since there wasn't a sienna in it. this i wasn't really drawn to making a warm orange brown myself so just something to keep in mind not really a big deal but that definitely affected the final outcome.
stuff that's been going on with me is I have definitely been missing making videos properly. I'm working towards making better videos and coming out with content that I truly love. So from now on, I'm really going to try to have grace with myself, work slowly and make good content. So um, just think a little bit more about the pieces I create maybe larger scale, or at least the videos that I make, I would like them to be more purposeful, more beautifully shot, and just well executed. I really want to enjoy the editing process more and put in more work and come out with more artistic videos because I just genuinely uh, love watching like calming, relaxing YouTube videos and want to be better at it myself. So a couple updates for this video. I got a new lens and mic, so the sound should be crisper and more calming to listen to. I had garbage garbage sound in my previous videos i didn't really care so much i was like whatever not a big deal i'm this this is just something i'm documenting making art it's not that big of a deal my videos aren't that nice but i'm not gonna lie i want my videos to be pretty so i got a mic very happy about that and i am really happy to actually have bokeh on my lens i also do photography so I was always kind of displeased with the video quality I was putting out because it has a very high aperture whenever I film with the other lens and this lens has low aperture, the background can get nice and fuzzy, it can be a little bit more artistic looking so I have been really happy about this new lens. But um, another thing that's maybe a little bit odd is the length of this video. So as I said, it took me 8 hours and well that's a long time. I have a really hard time cutting down videos, I just think all the painting process is fun to watch, so it's a really long, arduous process to go through 8 hours of footage and decide what should be in the final video or not. So this one is a little bit longer, I asked on Instagram if you wanted a shorter or longer video and the majority said like a 30 minute video, which I thought was kind of crazy. So you have to let me know what your thoughts are, do you like shorter or longer videos? I remember when I first started YouTube, I would try to keep all of my videos under six minutes. If they were like two to three or four minutes, I was like, perfect, which is so weird to think about now. Everybody wants to put out the longest form content so they can get the most ad revenue, but I mean, I don't really know. I don't really care about that. I just want to know what you guys prefer. So please let me know what you prefer. Do you like real-time cuts to videos or time lapses? Do you like longer or shorter videos? I will look at all of your comments, keep them in my brain, consider them, and you know, kind of adapt my content to be better suited for you. And while you're at it, I would appreciate it if you could comment and let me know what Halloween or spooky character you want to see my next video coming out next week. So, as I said, I'm trying to put up nice cool content. <laughs> um, I definitely want to paint something Halloween or spooky or scary related, so let me know. Um, you know, I like drawing girls, painting girls, but if it's something that can be sort of gory, maybe Bride of Frankenstein would be fun. I don't know, let me know. Um, but feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when that video pops up. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what medium, just Give me your feedback. I feel like so needy. I'm just asking you for all of this stuff, but again, just trying to curate my whole video thing. <laughs> I will let you watch the rest of the video in peace. Just a little bit relaxing, real time gouache painting footage. Uh, I will say, Hogwarts in the background was the biggest pain to paint when I was just cramming, finishing this painting into a couple of days and my back really hurt and I just wanted to be done, but I <laughs> stuck through it and I tried to do my best with it and I'm really happy that I didn't like cut any corners or um, take shortcuts with this painting. I just really stuck with it through to the end and I think it shows. I think that for my first big, big gouache painting, like that's detailed, I think I did a really good job uh, I can definitely see things that should be improved in the painting process and I've learned a lot about how gouache colors work, how they activate, and just the way to lay them down on the paper. So my next gouache painting will for sure just be an improvement to this one, but I am still super proud of how this one turned out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, for being here, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.
Bye.